is he friend or is he foe, the pony wonders? Um, I don't think I was wondering that. I can assure you that I am no friend. I am T-Rex. T-Rex? T-Rex. Pyrex? T-Rex. Spandex. You know what? <laughs> What was that? Uh, it's a bit of a long story. You see, many moons ago, my bay, future Twilight Sparkle, modified Star Swirl's time spell so she could go back through time and genetically alter the ancestors of all modern ponies so that if any pony had their power stolen, they'd puke in the mouth of their attacker. Did she do it in anticipation of your return? I don't think so. I think she just did it for the lulls. <laughs> No matter. It's a small price to pay for power. Um, I'm not so sure you actually took my power. A small price to pay, indeed. Cream tangerine. I presume. Whoa! You look terrible. Pony. Hmm. Puke. <laughs> Have you ever considered, I don't know, just giving up while you're behind? No. <gasps> Not after I've absorbed so much power. Have you, though? Hark. A new pony. Approaches. Wow, Derpy, did you really just put ketchup on a peanut butter sandwich? Yup. And did you really just spread Thousand Island dressing on that fruitcake and dip it in Manhattan clam chowder? With raisins? Yup. And did you really just take that slice of pumpernickel, slather it in salmon juice, and mix it with lumpy mashed potatoes, hot dog relish, and marmite? Yes, ma'am. And it's pronounced Mermite. Oh, right. We do horse puns and stuff. <laughs> Mega Drain! <laughs> Is there anything you can do for him, Dr. Sparkle? Yeah, sure. Hold on a second. Don't be a jerk, Sugar Cube. <laughs>